We're talking about politics. God help us. She just brings that light that I can't bring. He kind of makes me more logical and more motivated. You're listening to Opposites Attract with J&D. Stay tuned for... Puts on their flippers, gets on their snowball, and, like, goes into the ocean. I, I recognize that I'm a bum. Like, I'm a piece of crap. <laughs> so am I. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Opposites Attract with J&T. I'm Taylor. You totally butched it. I did? No. I didn't butch it. You just interrupted hey, me. Hey, welcome to the J&T podcast. Ow. You had- <laughs> welcome to the J&T. <laughs> Who butched welcome it Welcome to now? the podcast. <laughs> I guess we're going to go with that. <laughs> yes. Uh, okay. Uh, Welcome back. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for joining us. Okay. Uh, Taylor, I don't know exa- exactly what I'm, I'm going with this, <clears throat> but I kind of – politics, I'm not – we're not going to be exactly talking about politics. There's kind of the before well, politics kind of – I don't know how to explain it. I mean, it's going – we're going to get into politics. It kind of feels like we're going to go to – we're going to get into politics. Mm-hmm. But um, I just had an epiphany. Not an epiphany, <laughs> but I kind of felt like an a-hole. <laughs> yeah, I was... Oh, yeah. Okay. I was watching this video, and this guy is like, I'm pro-choice. And then he kind of realized, he's like, no, no, I'm, no, I'm not. Cause, like, pro-choice or pro-life? Pro-life? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's like the fifth time I said that. <laughs> anyway, okay. he, yeah, he's, he's, against abor- he was, he's against abortion. And um, he just <laughs> stupid. stupid little. <laughs> he was like, because I I feel I feel the same thing. That's the only reason I want to talk about it today. I want to become more action orientated rather than holding up a poster, right? And that's why I just wanted to talk about it. Um, this will be a couples therapy kind of thing for me, <laughs> or me to you, um, you to me, you to me. No, me to you. Yeah. Okay. Uh yeah, oh my gosh, why am I stalling? I'm kind of <laughs> nervous, maybe. But it's a lot to cover. He was he was talking about how he is just against it, and he just does he just hates it, you know, for just for the simple reason. For the Christian reason, yeah. Yeah, and um, he was like, "Dude, I'm just not doing anything. I I am not like, I'm not out there. I'm not. All I'm all I'm doing is just if it's ever mentioned, I'll be like, yeah, I'm pro life, uh, yeah. you know." That's You'll me. say it. It's like this. It's the same thing with with people who are all about the planet Earth. Like I met people where they would they would turn off the lights in in my classroom. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> to, yep. to say <laughs> like this. okay, like I mean that's freaking annoying as all hell. But like good for you. Like you're actually just doing something. You know to save the what light energy or whatever. Yeah, what, whatever. Like whatever. It wasn't just like I'm holding up a sign. It, it was like she did her due diligence, right, to actually make the point. And that's what I'm talking. About. That's why I wanted. To, that's why I wanted to mention this. And with politics, it it really gets wrapped around because people prefer just to go on Facebook and then like you're an a hole, you're an <laughs> idiot, you're you're this, you're that, mm-hmm. you, like, and then they throw the fantastic label labels on themselves. And like I'm concerned. No, you're. you're Okay, fine. Call yourself whatever you want, but you're not doing anything. Like, right? What are you actually doing? Like, imagine if we, because no matter what spectrum you are on, you want the world to be a better place. Right. That's awesome. Yeah. But just because all we do, all what I do is just yell at another person. Like, I I always thought I was like civil, but I'm not. Like, when I was yelling at Liana, I was just going hard at her, and like. Instead of, like, actually going from what I believed in, I went into this weird radical side where it's like, oh, you're this, so I'm going to be, like, immediately this. I don't know why I did that, but I just went into that. Well, yeah, I remember from my perspective, it was difficult because it feels like nobody really talks to each other. I want to backtrack a little bit, though. I want to say, like, you may think that you're doing something to help. You may think that you you have this belief by you have talking. by talking or by making a thing about it, and for yeah, for some things like speaking up is a part of it, but it's like it's the action that follows that really determines whatever. Is it same with like if you're a Christian, you can say you're a Christian all day long, but if you're not acting like one, then you really aren't. You and know? that's what that's what my dad was saying. Like he's like nobody is going to be Christian if the person who's saying, hey, guys, look at my Bible, like, mm-hmm. no, they want to see you actually doing things. Mm-hmm. That's, and then that's why I wanted to talk about this because I want, 
I don't know, this podcast is super random with its topics and what we want <laughs> yeah. from it, but I definitely want to provide value. And if there's like anyone out there who's kind of confused over what they're doing, just do what you're doing, what do what you think was right, but put action to it. Right. Don't just don't just preach about it. Like I will see so many people on Facebook share their political views and share what they think or whatever whatever. And I think like it's okay if you want to share your free speech, obviously. Everybody can share, but it's also like that's, what are you really doing in your any, life? Like, personally, I'm not – I don't give it's two like craps about the planet Earth. Like, people might think I'm a douchebag for thinking that. You should. Uh, I'm going to be dead in 100 years. Why would I care about this? Not part? even 100 years. You'll be dead in 50. Eggs. Wait, how old are you? 19? <laughs> you know, you'll be dead in, like, 80. <laughs> hopefully so i'll be alive for 100 years <laughs> my point also p.s we have a fly in the studio today and i don't really know where it came Don't from, so. that, Taylor. you're giving him <laughs> a plug <laughs> speaking of shameless plug catches on the snap we're on, the <laughs> we're on twitter and, and instagram and facebook okay. but anyway like i don't really care about that i'm not gonna worry about throwing my cans in the recycling bin if it gets in, like if the trash is there i'll throw it in the trash if the recycling's there fine i'll throw it in recycling do my human duty but you know what's cool? When someone actually goes out there, puts on their flippers, gets on their snorkel, and, like, goes into the ocean. Or what? Get on something or what? Oh, snorkels. Sorry, oh, get I, on their snorkels. I was get, like. Get on their snorkel. <laughs> Just action. Yeah, action. Like, you were saying this a little bit earlier. Like, if you – who are you if you aren't putting the action in your personal life – to emulate what you want in in other people's lives. So say you're a huge advocate of yeah, like um, a certain policy in politics, or or you are against abortion, or you're for abortion, or you're um, whatever whatever it is. But you're not. You are just kind of preaching to everybody what you think, but you're not doing anything in your own life to emulate that. Mm-hmm. Whether that be like you say, oh, I want to be. So, I'm so organized, and I'm so this. I'm guilty of this. I said. I remember. I told James once. I was like, I'm yeah, so organized, fine. and I'm <laughs> hey. I I recognize that I'm a bum, um, but I was like I'm so organized and I can I really like being organized and then I can't walk in my room sometimes because I don't ha- I have so many clothes on the floor or like I haven't made my bed that day and it's like just a mess and it's like I like to preach being organized and keeping it all together but then it's like am I really doing that in my personal life? Yeah, no. like the psychologist he was saying, he, stupid, stupid smart. He's so oh my, this guy I love him. What's his name? Uh. I don't want to. I don't want to say. You don't want to plug him. Uh, Does he have a bad rep or something? Is that why? Well, people make him look like he's some radical, like like he's a Nazi, but he's Canadian, so he'll give you <laughs> all your maple syrup. <laughs> Jordan Peterson, if you guys want to look in, look into him, but he's just a, he's just a simple psychologist, just just this this that. Like, but he goes into politics, which kind of this is why I don't. Uh, like, this is why I was weary to talk about politics, but. With this issue that I'm having in my life is this. Anyway, sorry, I just went on the tangent for no reason. <laughs> but what I wanted to actually talk about is he was saying that if you don't have your life put together, if you know you have some deep-seated rouge, um, issues, like you can't go out there and give people, I don't want to say advice, but just going out there and telling them what to do because it just might and thing it just Things might end up being worse. People don't look at you as, like, serious. Like I'm not I, really sure how to say it. Okay, let's just give another example. Um, if you're a pastor in a church and people know that you are you do stupid stuff and behind the scenes, even though you let's preach up in the, the top. Let's the example. You have sex with, like, 30 women. Okay, yeah. Yeah, say you're a pastor. You have sex with 30 women and everybody knows it or they find out later. All of the teachings that he's ever said is going to be delegitimized mm-hmm. because it's like you, you're not practicing what you preach, I guess, is just the age-old saying. It's like you need to – that's – there's a reason that actions speak louder than words because people can just spew whatever they want and say however they want, but they never take those things and do it because A, they're too scared. B, they don't have enough willpower. C, they think that their words are doing enough. So yeah, you can go out. I think personally, whenever I see protests like on TV about anything, and it doesn't matter what it is, anybody can write a poster. Anybody can draw on there and say mm-hmm. what they believe and hold it up above their head and yell and scream. But are you really but doing you something? Like, for example, my dad, we just bought another house, and instead of selling our old house, we let them – what the, 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 the state that they – the money that they get from the state, we took that money, which is $600. My dad's paying $1,500 for our house, mm-hmm. so he's losing the difference, mm-hmm. and that's what he did. 
it's not just an immigrant. He's my uncle, so it's it's a little bit more family oriented. But still, he's an immigrant. With immigration, with walls being up, are you gonna get another house and let this person live in your house? Feed him because we give him a lot of food. We give him a lot of stuff. We we drove him around. We we do everything mm-hmm. for him. What the frick <laughs> are you willing to give to someone? Yeah, because you can say that like. No offense to if you believe immigration, but it's this but it. Let me finish okay, my sentence. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna like I'm sparking. Okay, you're sparking. <laughs> so am I. Like if you believe in that whole thing, then that's fine. It's totally fine. But you have to be willing to give up something too. Like you can't just say it and then just forget that there's a bunch of people out there yeah. that are affected too. Even if it's not you directly, like you. I mean, maybe it's not. Maybe it's through taxes. Maybe it's through whatever. Maybe it's whatever. But there's like people like James's uncle. That are directly affecting the affecting a family. How are how far are you willing to go? Not just with that, but with anything. Like, are you really willing to take on the responsibility that your words produce? Yeah. That's this is the coolest thing about why I wanted to talk about this. It's because no matter where you are and what what you believe, if you do what you believe, okay, one reason you believe into it is because you think it's going to make the world a better place. Mm-hmm. But if you do those things. The world's going to become a better place. Right. I don't care. I don't agree with having open border. I want that shit to be up and closed and whatnot. <laughs> but you know what's awesome? If the immigrants come into this nation and you give them a place to sleep, I think that's awesome. I'm not going to say kick them out. Right. I love that. I think that is so cool. Personally, I'm not going to help. I mean, I would, but if, if it's family. Because mm-hmm. the thing with – it gets a little bit complicated because mm-hmm. it took an extra – all of a sudden, my uncle was like, all right, I want to go to America. Okay, they're like, wait a year. And then all of a sudden, like, hey, sorry, we don't have enough room. Wait, four more years, five, ten, twelve years. I mean, come on, how long? So he's been in Ukraine, freaking his life is in ruins, and finally he's here, you know, living it. Finally, finally. Mm-hmm. That's that's my only issue. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm going to mention. That's the only thing I'm going to mention. <laughs> sorry, I'm talking like crap. <laughs> it's okay. But... At the end of the day, no matter what you believe, you can say that's a good thing because mm-hmm. you stood up for what you believed in mm-hmm. and you gave someone to sleep, mm-hmm. something to eat. You gave them a place mm-hmm. and that's awesome. You can't, no matter what you believe, you can't say that's a bad mm-hmm. thing. Like I think if you were believing in something and you like, this is where politics comes in because both sides believe so strongly that what they're doing is bettering the, bettering the world. And it will if they do and it. And it will if they do it. But right now, I feel like what, what's happening in modern America currently is we're all just yelling and bitching at each other and nobody's getting anywhere because we're all just yelling at each other. Who's really doing anything? That's what I'm saying. Who's think, really making a movement? You can, think, you can get a picket fence and you can – or picket fence, a picket – a sign, whatever. A pitchfork. A pitchfork. You could do get flames, fire, whatever you want to do. You I, can protest I think all I you want. That from SpongeBob. <laughs> yeah. They taught me how to protest. You can do all those things, but like, get out there and vote. You know that is an action. Yeah. Vote. Yeah. You know, vote for what you believe in, and and do action in your community where you can. Talk to your representatives. That is what is important because anybody can talk, but nobody. That there's few people that actually do it. And it's like, I need to work on this too. Like, I'm not just every every person dude, needs to work oh on this. Oh my goodness, every, there is, including me. I don't know. Maybe Bill Gates. He could say something because he's mm-hmm. given like 35 billion dollars mm-hmm. to like fight all the diseases. He had he found a cure for malaria. Like some cool stuff right there. Like, mm-hmm. and I don't care what you. I mean, hopefully everyone believes that we should find a cure for malaria. Right. Bill <laughs> Gates did it. 35 billion dollars later. Wait, he did. I think is so. This new news, Mark. Is, Mark, you, can you fact check this? I cannot. You'll fact check later. <laughs> um, but that's that. That is the main main premise. I just feel like I have to get that off my chest. It's just, I know that in my life I can, like, for example, I want to be a doctor in psychology. But I know that if I don't get my shit together in my own life and where I and my own goals, like if I don't go out there and find internships and volunteer and get into the field i'm never going to be where i want to be i can sit there and say i want to be this and i want to do this but i have to know that practical applications on my life and what i have to do the steps i have to get there the like the actual deeds and practices in my life that will get me to that goal and make me legit in my field like my mom she has gone through so many years she's a nurse practitioner advanced registered nurse practitioner Okay. And she yeah, had sure. to, she's had Give to, that plug. <laughs> I will, she Nancy. Just, you need a nurse practitioner. Advanced. 
<laughs> she had to go through so much. She's been th- through so many different places. She started opening her practice. She did all this stuff. She's done through a lot. So she has legit things. So when she speaks about mental health or whatever, or yeah. the corporation or what you should be, what they should be doing, people should believe her because she's actually done the practical application Think of about it. it. Taylor, how many, how many years ago were we 12? Well, how when? many years ago? Oh, were we 12? <laughs> seven, seven years. So you really think, you know, the cure for wellness, you really think, you know, how to solve the world's issue. No, you don't. But if you think you do, then go out and do it. Mm-hmm. And that's where we could stop protesting. I think I, my, I don't know if it's a utopia or if it's actually going to happen, but I personally believe if every single one in the world did what they thought was good, not like you can't, you can't go out there and let's say someone is trying to um, get some – let's go back to the immigrant. He's mm-hmm. trying, trying to get him a house. You can't be like, no, you can't do that. Don't let the immigrants – no, that's not, not going to make the world better. Okay, that's not that's not an action you can go out and do. You can't like stop someone else from doing what they think. How about if you believe in if you disagree with that, just forget about it. Go out and, you know, pick out the straws mm-hmm. in, in in the oceans. Mm-hmm. Or come up with I saw this really cool thing, sidetrack, this th- really cool thing on Twitter. It was like it sucked in the trash from the ocean and like stored it in this little thing so then you can take it out and take the trash, but like without sucking in the animals. Was it like a machine? I don't know. It, it was just did it look like a a, a ray? I don't know. It a was like a ray? it was kinda like a kinda like a hole, but it like the top was at the top and then it had like a little thing on the bottom. And there was a middle hole with a, a net, and it would catch, like, the trash yeah. but not catch the fish because I don't know how. It's really cool. Well, this, but, like, that's what you should be doing, inventing this, things that help the environment yeah. if that's what you believe in. And, like, that—that that is a brilliant idea. Like, there's so many wonderful things you can do if you run with what you truly believe instead of just talking about it. No, that sounds – As we sit here talking I, about I'm what we believe. I'm pretty <laughs> sure I know what you're talking about. That guy, he was, like – he was just scuba diving and went on. He noticed that the trash would float at the top. And yes. he also noticed that his manta rays, they would float. So he was wondering if they could make some, like, manta, or, or, sorry, what are they called? I, I manta mean, rays? Yeah, yeah that's not the Okay. That just doesn't sound right. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, those those rays, and you know, he's like, if I could build a machine that, like, mimics the same movement, then I could probably be catching a lot of the um, the trash on, on, because on the top of the surface, the trash floats. Mm-hmm. And there's another guy. And and the funny thing is, none of them are like these activist protesters. Mm-hmm. He was just scuba diving because he mm-hmm. lives on the like Hawaii. I don't know where he lives. The but. people that have the most to say are the are the the people that do the most are the ones that speak the loudest. Yeah. In my opinion, I'm not I'm not trying to bicker at anyone because no. I'm like I'm a piece of crap. <laughs> so am I. I mean, we're no, all like I, I compared to me oh. versus you, and I'm a piece of crap. And I I'm sure I don't think so. I'm sure I'm better than someone out there. At least I hope. <laughs> yes, yes, you are. But trust the, me. I, I I remember telling this to someone, and then I think they got mad at me. Like, what do you mean? I need to do action. What do you? I think they just knew the truth, and they just got frustrated. And I and I got mad at <laughs> like I'm only saying that because I've been mad at someone like hearing this before mm-hmm. it just sounds so simple yeah just action it, it sounds it sounds simple but in practice it's difficult like with everything with not just with what you like what, what your strongly held convictions are but just with, like everyday life like you may say you're going to do something but you really need to fulfill it but you you know you promise somebody you're going to do something but then you forget where like you your words don't mean much if your actions don't follow it and it's like they're worthless they're worthless and it's like i'm still working on this every day you know and it's and like i was telling james the other night when we we had that argument with liana um we were talking so deeply about a, a topic and it just got kind of skewed and we were talking and i was like you know what i think it's better if we let our actions speak for us than our, just our yelling words yeah but i know that i still need to work on that too because i wasn't innocent either i was yelling too and it's like no i think I it's think just you need to it's hard if i stop yelling at people for for thinking what they think is right in the world first of all i won't be yelling at them if i'm going and doing out their action i think i might influence someone to mm-hmm. to go out and 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 do what they want like personally i don't agree with abortion but the thing is what are you supposed to do you're gonna go tell a woman you, you know that you can't do this you can't i want to honestly go out there and if if someone is just confused about their choice but somehow can still support it and i can give them that motivation or whatever it is i don't know maybe like it's not going to be like oh you saved a child what a bad thing. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm assuming that 
I do think that's that's a good thing if I can do that. And honestly, if someone's like, I just, you know, I won't have I won't have this, I, I don't know, maybe maybe I want to get a job, an extra one, and help. Mm-hmm. Five hundred bucks extra and help someone. Like, mm-hmm. oh my gosh, if I could do that instead of just sitting there and telling someone, No, you can't go out there and do that. You're going to hell. You're doing this. You're yeah, wrong. Exactly. You're, You're wrong. going to hell. Yeah, this, right. is, this is what I see this on like social media like, nowadays. Dude, I see so that? many people like yelling at each other like, you're wrong. You're, you're a piece of shit. You're this and this and this and this. And then you just like label them and you say, you're wrong. And it's like, what does that really do? It just kind of, one, it makes people feel crappy. Two, it doesn't make any change. It just makes, it just makes angst. It doesn't fix anything. I've, I've had to learn this over the years that yelling and, and arguing Throw back to a couple podcasts ago when we were talking about detoxifying our relationships and yelling and how it doesn't work. Until day one. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, it doesn't. It really doesn't. No matter who you are. And it's, like, the most wonderful – We, I feel like as a nation, as a, as a world, as a, communicating yes, with each Taylor. other. Taylor for 2020. <laughs> as a – as a world, we would do so much better if we could just communicate and not argue. Yeah. But being said, people get really heated about topics, and I completely understand why arguing happens because everybody just feels so strongly, and we can't always do everything that like we can't have. We can't have pro life and pro choice win at the same time. I mean, we can. And What's so, so hard? Uh, I don't know. It's very. What confusing. I was trying to say earlier is if someone's out there trying to talk to a woman that's like about to go out in there and you know give an abortion because she heard. It's like, you know, go get an abortion. Freaking fly. I know this fly is just terrorizing us. <sighs> it's just so hard to talk about this stuff because you, you really don't know how you feel, but you do feel like what you do feel is right. Mm-hmm. You just get so confused. And you also feel like you're a piece of crap for thinking about what you think is right. Like, come on. That's mm-hmm. like the biggest thing. That's the thing that I think is really difficult right now is that I feel like you can't, no matter who you are, I feel like there's sometimes there's a there's a stigma of like if you believe the wrong thing, then you're yeah. out or you're a bad person or you're like, this. And it's like, I, this what, is what if we just have different opinions? We are human beings for goodness sake. I feel like being conservative is like being a gay guy in like the 70s. And or, I don't know if it's that dramatic. Well, I don't have AIDS. <laughs> I know that, that was when did they have. Yeah, I don't, I'm I don't not know. sure. But point is. There is people who freaking look at me or hear me, and they're like, "Wow, this guy is is Satan. He's Hitler himself." <laughs> like, like, oh wow! All I wanted to do is just to you know tell a woman don't get an abortion, and if she needs money, I'll I'll give her money. Jeez. But then on the flip side too, we can't turn to all the liberals or all the all the other people that disagree with you That's and say that you're a dick for feeling that way. It's just like it's. I'm not even a conservative. I hate. Yeah. I hate saying. I like, hate I'm labeling myself like too. I'm, like, I don't, I don't like that. But I also, I think that my beef is, that, that's what I was trying to say earlier. Jeez, I just, like I said, this is why I wanted to not talk long about <laughs> this because you just get so, like, confused about what you really want to say because mm-hmm. you don't know how to word it. But if you're out there, if I, let's say I'm out there in an abortion clinic talking to people just to talk, just to talk. Mm-hmm. And if someone's like, you can't do this, no, stop. That's what you shouldn't do, I think. Right. You shouldn't prevent someone to to doing action of oh i can't word it i think i think i know what you mean like you can't can you word it for me like okay be my translator i will you can't tell somebody how to do it you can't not how to do it you can't tell you you can't can't tell somebody someone going out the ocean and like get out i want there to be straws in the ocean because i believe in Mm -hmm. having like you can't take action away from someone okay there, that's a better way of wording it you can't if you believe action. in women having pro-choice then go out there and talk about a woman be like if you if this happened to you if this if you want this like then you can go here mm-hmm. that's action mm-hmm. but you can't go out there and, and and tell someone who's doing their own action you can't just do this anti kind of thing right you have to you have to combat the action you disagree with by putting your own action into the world not taking away somebody else's yeah. is what he's trying to say because that just makes it – that's what makes arguments. Because the whole thing is balance. Mm-hmm. I, I don't think it should be illegal to have an abortion. I just think there's a lot of women who are not sure what to do. They're mm-hmm. scared. They're not, they're not sure if they should go to their parents. Like what happens if you, like, you go up to them and like, talk to your parents like, if that's what they're afraid of? And they go talk to their parents and their, par- their parents are fine and they're like, hey, we should you know, take you in or do whatever it is. Mm-hmm. And it's like – it's. That, that's why. That's why. That's why I told you to 
that's why I said we're going to talk about politics. Yeah. So because this is this is a whole thing that's about politics. It, we can go forever about different things, but it's just no, I don't want to. I don't want to either. So honestly, guys, if you if you kind of feel us on this topic, like let us know. Like I was kind of concerned about what we would be talking about today, to be honest, because I didn't want people to hate what we were saying but i think we can all relate that actions speak louder than words and if i hope that we motivated you guys to like get out there and fight for what you believe in because that is ultimately all we can do as people fighting for our true what we believe in the stupid fly and <laughs> interrupting my flow let's here. take the flies off planet <laughs> off this earth if you're if, you know what if that's your conviction then but the best way take action man the best way what i wanted to say is f Everyone does what they believe in. It's gonna besides hurting other people. Yeah, there's some things obviously that cross a line, but come on, Taylor, don't. <laughs> that was not a vibe. <sighs> but anyway, if everyone does everything that they believe in, the world would be a much better and balanced, balanced place. Because mm-hmm. I don't think it would be a perfect world if there was no such thing as an abortion. Like right, that would be. In my opinion, that would be terrible. Mm-hmm. Like, if I got raped and I had twins, that's super, like, PG, This you know, like, 10 years ago. That that's P- they rated R to say it, but this is PG-13 today. <laughs> Talk about uh, stuff like this. So, yeah, guys, just let us know what you guys thought about this whole thing. I wasn't even done. Oh. I don't want to finish, though, because I, 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 f- I feel like I'm not going anywhere, and I feel like <laughs> I can't even put my words out of my mouth. It's, it's hard to talk about. Because I know you guys might be sitting there listening to us, like, where do they get their validity? We don't have yeah, very no, much. A piece of crap. We don't have very I'm a piece much, of crap. but we do Sorry recognize that it's important to to reorient your life to be actionable instead of talkative. Yeah, and actions over words, man. Start with an attitude. Mm-hmm. Just if you want to help people, just pick up their keys if they drop it. Open, mm-hmm. Like open a door. You know, you like know how you talked about how um, Whitworth has this. Uh, what is it? Uh, the frisbee. We have that frisbee <laughs> culture. I'm like, this is such bull crap. But then, but then like at Eastern, I'm like, Eastern has a culture of opening doors for one another. Because <laughs> you, I mean, you're going to be walking down and like you're 50 feet away from the door and this fool just opening it. Wait, that's up, they do that too? At oh, yeah. Eastern? They Eastern. do that at Whitworth too. It's so funny. Good. Have an attitude. <laughs> Have an attitude about it. Not of protesting or yelling at people who... Who Cause disagree? Because then, then, like, you just make someone else feel bad for thinking of their idea of how to help the world. Mm-hmm. We all just want this world to be a better place, man. That's literally it. And she just took a hit of her blunt. <laughs> I her joint. <laughs> <laughs> we just. <sighs> I just want the better. These are the better things in life to help me tell us, bro. Uh, I was thinking it as I said it, and I was like, oh, God. <laughs> All right. We're peacing out. We're peacing out. Follow us on our social medias on Instagram at... Um, no, we're not plugging we're ourselves. We're not plugging ourselves. Just Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. No. And YouTube. I, all, I, all I want is to someone to be like, I'm going to do what I think is good for this earth. Yeah, okay. You know what? Yeah. yeah. Screw the social media. Defollow <laughs> us and go out there and vote. Go out there and believe, do vote. what you think is right and vote. That's, and yeah, that's just, one way you can And just, you know, do it. Okay. Just do it. Yes.